Hi, Hi guys. So, my name is Christopher Clark, just like she said, and I'm going to be talking about the ocean. We're also going to watch a video and play a game if we have time, so it won't be too long. And I am also uh, taking a video, so don't worry, it's just going to be pointed at me, not at you. I have to submit this assignment to my class as homework, so I'm also in school too. So, like I said, we're going to talk about our ocean. And I have some slides in case you can't see. So if you want to follow along, you can. There's one for you. So, so this is a good topic because next week is spring break, right? Yeah. And a lot of us are going to go to the beach. And I know I am. Raise your hand if you like going to the beach. Yeah, right? Have any of you ever seen trash maybe on the sand or in the ocean? Yeah, of course. A lot of us have because a lot of the trash that we make and a lot of the trash that we're throwing away is ending up in the ocean. So this is a big problem. So the most popular, let's see, yeah. So most of the, so most of the trash that we're finding that's in the ocean is plastic. It's plastic. Do you have a pointer? No. Okay. I don't. So we have like plastic bottles. We have plastic bags, straws, candy wrappers food wrappers, containers, and Starbucks coffee cups are the most popular types of plastics that we're finding. So, unfortunately, it goes into the ocean and affects the animals that call it home. So we've got things like whales, sea turtles over here. You've got, this is a picture of a sea lion trapped in a net. And of course, people that like to call it home um, let's see what else we've got. So a lot of the times, these animals will mistake food for uh, plastic. And so what they'll do is they'll try to figure out why these animals died. And what they're finding is that there's little bits and pieces of plastic inside their belly. And they call this necropsy. Class, can you repeat after me? Necropsy. Necropsy. Necropsy, necropsy. perfect. So this plastic, like I said, is everywhere. It's on the top of the water, on the surface. Sometimes it sinks to the bottom, but a lot of it is trapped right here in the middle, creating this ocean full of plastic. So where does it go? So a lot of it comes back to the beaches where we see it, but a lot of it gets pushed way, way, way far into the Pacific Ocean into this thing that we've called the garbage patch, okay? This garbage patch is twice the size of Texas. It is smelly, it is dirty, it is gross, and it's affecting all of the life in the ocean right now. And this is a picture of what it looks like. So it's a floating trash island, you know, the far, as far as the eye can see. Can you imagine? Yeah, it's pretty gross, right? So this is a huge problem, and there aren't many solutions right now. So it's kind of sad. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to play a video which is going to talk about the problem, and it's going to talk about a few solutions right now. And then after that, we'll get to talking about what you saw, and if you have any questions. Let's see if I can just pull up the video. It's only about nine minutes, so it's not very long. Can you turn the lights yeah. off? Yeah. We know we're in. 
100 miles of coastline. Count for peace and harmony. The choices we make about the products we buy and the methods we use to recycle and dispose of plastic waste will have a huge impact on the future of our beaches and oceans. Hopefully, we'll act responsibly so that future generations can enjoy the natural beauty of our oceans. trash that we throw away it doesn't get recycled it just goes maybe goes towards the landfill but a lot of it is just being thrown into the streets like littering you see people just throw trash on the ground or you see your friends just throw something and not pick it up well eventually that will find its way into the storm drains go through the pipes and eventually find its way into the oceans so you really have to be careful about what you do because it just doesn't, it affects everybody. You know, it affects, you know, what you do in, at your homes or at your school. You know, it just doesn't affect you. It affects everybody, like these animals living in the oceans. Do you have any other questions? No? Okay. So what were a couple possible solutions they said to prevent plastics from entering the ocean? What was it called when those people were going on the beach and they were using bags and they were picking it up? Uh, what did they call that? If you go to the beach and you go with a couple friends and you do a beach cleanup. Clean up. That's right. So a lot of people will go and they'll do these things where they pick up trash at the beach. Has anybody ever seen that before? Has anybody ever done that? A couple people, yeah, right? I do that. So there's a couple companies that go out and they send emails and they gather a, a bunch of folks and friends that have like-minded interests and we'll go and we'll go on a Saturday and we'll clean up the trash on the beach so it doesn't go into the ocean and affect those animals that we saw. Another solution to the problem, they talked about, they talked about these. What did they do with these? 2016. Yeah. They, yeah, so not a lot of people see these anymore in grocery stores, right? If you want to use one of these in the grocery store, you have to buy them. And how much did they cost? 10 cents, right? Yeah, so a lot of people, instead of using these, which you have, and then you toss it away, we'll bring these, right? Reusable bags. Does mom or dad carry these in their car? Yeah, have you ever seen these? Yeah. So these you use, you don't throw away because why? These are like 10 and $15 a piece, right? You don't want to just throw it away. They're expensive. Yeah. So that's another real good solution so that these don't get in the ocean, right? So good. So do we have time for a, oh, yeah. a little game of Yes, Kahoot? absolutely. Okay, so I'd like to play a game. Have you guys ever played Kahoot? Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll do it in groups of two. So we'll get one Chromebook or one laptop per group. Okay, and I'll set it up, and then we'll, so we'll get it going. So you want them to choose partners? Yeah, sure. So I think we have one odd then. It could be groups of two or three. Okay, so I assume Cream and Adrian. Why don't you Cream, Adrian, and Ryland? Okay. All right, so in groups, go ahead, Angela and Helena. Yeah. Okay, so you log in. So we'll need one person to type, and you can work together to try to figure out the answers. And we'll see who wins. Oh. 
You guys in in the back?
right? You good? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank